get started with recent efforts on reform in Congress and healthcare specifically. Healthcare, it's an important piece of the budget reconciliation package. President Biden suggested that the top line number for that package could range from $1.9 trillion to $2.2 trillion. Now that's a decrease, Congresswoman, from the initial $3.5 trillion figure that Democrats were aiming for. That could mean that key healthcare priorities have to get a haircut or maybe only be short-term funded in some cases. You've met with President Biden on these issues. You've talked to congressional leaders. What have those conversations been like? What are some of the trade-offs and concessions that might need to be made to fund these healthcare priorities? In my conversations with President Biden and the congressional leaders uh, that I serve with, it, I've been extremely clear that we cannot build back better if Americans don't have access to affordable health care. And so at the end of the day, we are remaining laser focused on keeping our promise to the American people, which is to deliver for them affordable health care solutions. In this construct of the Build Back Better Act, all of the health care provisions are being paid for by allowing Medicare to negotiate prescription drug prices. Now, Dan, you're very familiar with this issue because it was central. It was key to our victories in 2018, enabling us to flip the House and hold the House majority as Democrats. This is something that the American people overwhelmingly support um, because so many have experienced the high cost of insulin or the high cost of a life-saving prescription drug that they're looking for some relief. It is incredible that we have an opportunity right now to make good on that promise to lower folks' prescription drug prices and take those savings and push them right back into healthcare, allowing us to lower premium prices, right? To, to in, um, close the Medicaid coverage gap for those states that didn't take advantage of Medicaid expansion under the ACA, right? We have this really rich opportunity uh, to make good on these coverage gains and lower out-of-pocket costs. Um, by embracing and expanding and making permanent the very, very, very popular tax cuts that were included in the American Rescue Plan. 